today we're making an easy one pot white chicken chili that not only tastes good, but is good for you. Hey guys, it's Monica and today we're going to be making a healthy white chicken chili. We're going to be using some spices from Villain Republic and some simple ingredients that you should be able to find in your fridge or pantry. And this recipe is perfect for the cold winter weather coming and just something basic that you can whip up pretty easily and fast. So a tip I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to shred chicken without using two forks, your hands, and getting it done quickly. So I went ahead and boiled five chicken breast. You can make more, you can make less, up to how many people are gonna be eating this. And if you don't have a KitchenAid, if you have a hand blender, that works as well. It really is worth investing in one for this recipe and many other things. So I went ahead and let my chicken breast cool. I put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes just so it's not hot. And it's about room temperature right now. And so we'll go ahead and start throwing it in and make sure your kitchen aid is locked up. And we're gonna start at a low speed and go higher from there. And there we go, three full chicken breasts completely shredded in under a minute. You see how simple that was. It's way faster than it would be if you're using two forks or your hands. It's extremely convenient, the cleanup's relatively easy. Now you have a bunch of chicken to use in multiple recipes, in one recipe, keep it in the fridge, chop it on salads. So now that our chicken is shredded, we're gonna move on to the even simpler part and throwing in all of our veggies into one pot. And in this chicken broth, I added a few spices. I added thyme, oregano, paprika, cumin, and I'm just letting it sit and develop into the flavor of the broth. So to our pot, let's go ahead and add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Our pot is ready for our vegetables to be thrown in. Let's go ahead and throw in all together. It's not chilly without cumin. Adding that warmth, that nice cozy flavor, it's perfect for winter. Powder. The garlic hickory seasoning by Villain Republic. It's garlic, salt, smoke, and paprika. It's adding even more warmth to this cozy white chicken chili. And one of the best things about this white chicken chili dish is everything happens in one pot. You can prep this chicken ahead of time or you saw how quick and easy it was. So let's pour it all in. It smells incredible. All right, let's bring this to simmer and we'll add in the finishing touches in about 10 minutes. So now that everything has come to a low simmer, let's go ahead and dump in the rest of our ingredients. Favorite things to add to chilies, soups, even pasta dishes is broccoli slaw. It's really good fiber, some good vitamins, and it keeps this dish nice and healthy without losing any of the delicious flavor. Let's go ahead and add in our white cannellini beans or great northern beans. Do you consider it chili if there's no beans? You tell me, comment down below and let us know what you think. I love corn. It's one of my favorite things. Cue the corn song. A big up loves, it has juice, it has a juice. It's awesome that everything's in one pot. It's easy cleanup. It's a nice big pot that'll last you throughout the week or feed a big crowd. And this is optional. If you're not dairy free or lactose intolerant, you can add regular cheese. This is just what I chose. So now that our chili has finished cooking, it's been about 20 minutes of simmering all the ingredients in and it smells delicious. And the broccoli slaw, you wouldn't even know that it's in here. My chili with some sliced avocado, a thinly sliced jalapeno, a lime wedge to squeeze on top, some tortilla chips for crunch, and a little extra cheese just to get melty. Final product of our white chicken chili.